Friends, welcome back to the homestead. There is some serious issues going on with a lot of homesteading channels right now, and mine is included in that. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to combat against it. The companies that run these platforms are at it again, and they are suppressing information. They've done it before, and they're continuing to do it. They're continuing to suppress information from homesteaders that are out there trying to help people be more self-sufficient. There are some amazing channels out there that give good, solid information. One of those is MI Gardener. MI Gardener has 1.36 million subscribers, and he gets an average of maybe 40,000 views on each video. Now you're saying, well, hey, look, people don't want to watch a video about beans. They only subscribe to watch a video about corn, and that's completely ridiculous. If you are a gardener, you are concerned about every topic that he's bringing up. The information is very, very valuable. So why is his channel seemingly suppressed? Because I know out of those 40,000 views average that he's getting, not many of them are his subscribers, maybe 10 to 20%. So say it's 8,000 people. 8,000 people out of 1.36 million subscribers is serious suppression. This happens to a bunch of channels. I could go through a couple more. SSL Family Dad, great guy in Michigan, very valuable information. He barely gets what? Two to 3,000 views per video? Plant Abundance. He has well over a half million subscribers and he only gets average maybe 20,000 views per video. And his information, I've taken a lot of his information and learned from it a ton over the years. It's a great channel. It's a lot of really solid info. But out of those 20,000 views, a very small percentage, again, are his subscribers. YouTube is holding back notifying subscribers to these channels of new videos. And they are not recommending these videos from these very large channels. Hollis and Nancy's Homestead, another one. I could go on and on and on. Deep South Homestead. So we've got 415,000 subscribers on the channel yet we barely get an average of 3,000 views per video. And if you wanna know what our analytics are, only 6.5% of subscribers to the channel watch the videos. Now, no channel has 100% of their subscribers watching 100% of their videos. That is not possible. But 6.5%, when 90 some odd percent of the views on the channel come from people outside. So let me ask you, can I make videos for my subscribers anymore? I don't know. Because if 93 and a half odd percent of the views out there are coming from people who are not subscribed to the channel, then friends, I don't know what to do for you. You gotta let me know what you wanna see. And of course that's gonna be dependent on also what I'm working currently on here on the property. But you know, friends, I've seen some channels and they have changed. And it's really sad because they used to give very good information for homesteaders. They used to give some solid gardening advice and raising livestock and how to build your homestead and do all this stuff. And then they just stopped. <sighs> they stopped and they started fear mongering and we all know who they are and I'm not gonna list them here because I don't think that's appropriate. Now friends, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be the breaking news channel and I don't think I need to be. You all can find the information out there yourself. I will tell you about certain things that I think are important that they might affect solar and things that are happening on your homestead or are prophetic in nature, so on and so forth like that. I'll bring that to you. But friends, every little thing that's going on in the corporate world or this company did this or this company did that, I'm not gonna do that. But that's what the YouTube algorithm pushes. They push the extreme fear mongering and emotion eliciting information or videos and it's kinda silly. Now I've been accused in the past of doing some clickbait titles and you know what? Gaining interest from a title I don't think is clickbait because I do give you the information within the video. It's only clickbait if you click on the video and it has zero relevance to what the title of the video is. And I don't think that's hypocritical because I give you the information in the video. And to gain all the information in the video, you've gotta watch the entire video. 
And I've had that happen recently where people haven't watched the whole video, they've made comments, started yelling at me when the information was right there for them. And there is nothing I can do for that type of personality and I'm not gonna cater to them. And here friends, here is another prime example of suppression. 415,000 subscribers and the other day I put out a video about controlling pests and insects in your greenhouse and giving you five strategies to do that. The video got 900 views in five days. That is absolutely horrendous because this information in my eyes is some of the most important information that you can absorb and you can learn from about keeping the pests out of the garden because if all of your food is getting eaten by pests and bugs, then what's the point of growing the garden? I don't know, maybe the video was terrible. Maybe I did a really bad job and please let me know if I did. But I presented that information the same way as I've presented all the other information in all my other videos over the years, uh, except for the ones at the beginning of this YouTube journey almost 10 years ago. Um, though that information, it was a little disjointed and uh, not well presented. But my newer videos, I've learned and I present the information much better for you. But who knows, maybe I've fallen back on my old habits and maybe it was bad, I don't know. And sometimes I do sit down in my greenhouse, sit on a chair and just have a good talk with you about staying positive on your homestead, about not giving up, about getting out of the city. And yeah, I'm gonna add those in. I'll continue to add more of that in, but presenting information on how to prune a fruit tree, how to freeze dry certain things, those videos just bomb. I do know why, and that's because I fully and 100% believe that they are being suppressed. Now, of course, you say, well, okay, I don't have solar and I don't have a freeze dryer, so I don't watch those videos. Totally cool. Not many people do, but that's not the majority of my content, and my library of content has everything in it. Absolutely everything, from preserving food to uh, starting seeds, to gardening, to harvesting, to building your homestead, to building things and fixing things, so on and so forth. And look, I totally get it. Somebody will see a video on how to fix a pump sprayer and like it a lot, subscribe to the channel, and never watch anything else. Lots of people do that. Friends, I've always wanted to create a community here where we could share information and where I could share my experience of going through this process of building this homestead with you. And I do want that community to grow. Maybe I'm working against myself in that regard, but also YouTube has something to do with that. So what can you do to help? What that means is you can watch the videos and you can share them. Share them on social media, like the videos, comment on them, get the video out into other people's hands. And this is really important because if you do those things, then that YouTube algorithm will pick it up and it will start to recommend it to others. So if you have any suggestions, I'm happy to implement those if I can. And I'm gonna be doing a series of polls trying to elicit information from you, uh, the engaged, currently engaged viewer or subscriber that will ask you what you wanna see on the channel and what can change. But don't fear, I'm gonna keep giving information. I'm not gonna become a news channel like the other fear-mongering ones that I have unsubscribed from myself. And I know there's gonna be a few people out there who are probably not subscribers who are gonna say, hey, stop whining and complaining. Again, that's not what I do. I analyze things. So I'm analyzing things and looking at the numbers and looking at what's going on and looking at other channels. I'm very analytical when it comes to these things. And I'm gonna lay out the truth and talk through it because that is the only way you can arrive at a better conclusion. Okay, friends, whatever you can think of to help the channel out, go for it. Help bump that algorithm up some way. Help tell YouTube that stuff like these homesteading channels are presenting is very important information. Now, as I always say, I want you to have a beautiful and blessed day. Take care and we will see you on the next one, hopefully.